Netflix is really making a killing of all these shows. I mean, we got Daredevil, Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, and now we have a show that is pretty much a nostalgia show. Fuller House is a new show on Netflix that is about a single mother raising her three young boys with the help of her younger sister and her best friend. For people who have no idea what Fuller House is about and what's the whole big thing about it, anybody who watched Fuller House growing up, like myself, even though I wasn't born in the 80s, but growing up still, they gave reruns on the television, whatever, I watched it. I, I freaking love Full House. Love that show. Um, but this show, I'm going to say honestly, is a show for people. I'm not going to say only for people who watched Full House and like Full House, but it's really hard to see how someone who've never seen Full House or someone who didn't enjoy Full House is going to enjoy this show. So I can say right now really quick that if you like Full House, you'll like Fuller House. Even though Fuller House does have um, the pretty much the exact same story, um, almost the exact same story, and it has a little adult humor touches into it, which I appreciate, and I really like that they did that, because a lot of people that are watching the show are now adults now, who watched it when they were younger, so it's, it's cool. Um, but, let's go back to the whole same story thing, is Fuller House is pretty much a mirror image of Full House. So let's do the connections here. We have... DJ, who's now a single mother raising her three young boys, and with the help of her, her sister and her best friend. Full House was about a single father raising his three young girls with the help of his brother-in-law and his best friend. In Full House, Danny's uh, wife dies and then has to raise the kids on his own. In Fuller House, DJ's husband dies <laughs> and he has to raise, she has to raise the kids on her own. The thing is with me, if that's the thing that kind of upset me about the show is that they they could have done more. I don't know what other idea. Like I can't really think of anything on the spot right now. Um, maybe there's a few obvious um, ideas they could have gone with. I don't know. You have any ideas that you thought they could have done? Let me know. But I would. I think they could have done something else. But I. I it, 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 it just kind of bothered me a little bit that they went with the exact same story pretty much. The same thing, just different situations and kind of reversing the roles. It, 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 the only difference really is it's instead of it's the men raising the girls, is the women raising the boys. And, you know, that, that it, it kind of sucks that they went with the exact same story for that. But looking past that, it's really not that bad of a show. Um, there are a handful, well, actually a lot more than a handful of cringe-worthy moments, but it's a family show. You know, you, that's a given most of the time when you have a family show. You're going to have these cringe-worthy moments. And with me, is liking Full House is kind of out of my league for me because I've never really been a whole, like, I like family shows and sitcoms and stuff. There's only been a few old sitcoms that I really liked. I liked Friends, I liked Seinfeld, uh, and probably a few others that I can't name right now. Uh, and Full House was, you know, it was... So and so, but I enjoyed Full House as a show, but Fuller House, it does have the cringeworthy moments, but then again, it is a family show. I'm going to say right now, if you're on the fence of watching Fuller House and you're kind of like, oh, I, I don't know, I don't know if I'll like it, um, maybe it'll suck, I don't want to get disappointed, here's the thing, watch the first three to four episodes. Personally, I would say, that's just my opinion, um, I would say if you watch the first three four episodes, You'll, you'll get a taste of what the show is going to give you, and the humor it's going to give you. Um, so give it a chance, I would say. I would definitely say give it a chance. Um, it's definitely good to give a show a chance. If you, if you have a half and half kind of thing on your mind, and you think you might like it, but you think you might not like it, just give it a chance. Why the hell not? If you think you're not going to like it at all, then don't mess with it. Don't bother with it, because if you didn't like Full House, you're probably not going to like this show. But if you love Full House, then you probably already saw, you're probably already watching Fuller House. Honestly, um, my sister she saw the whole the whole season, the whole first season, and she thought it was okay. Um, there were moments she told me that she said were really funny. The other parts that were kind of like eh. But let's with any show really. A lot of shows have really good moments and really moments that that lack. Um, but in all, it's an okay show. I haven't seen the f a whole first season yet. I'm honestly probably not going to finish watching it. 
because it's not my kind of thing. Even though I really liked Full House, there were just moments in it that I, I, it didn't, they tried to do very similar things and it just didn't hit me. It didn't hit me the second time, honestly. That, that's the best way to say it. Uh, I got to episode 6 or 7, I lost count, honestly. Um, out of 13, 14 episodes, I really don't know how many episodes there are, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I it, I kind of had to force myself, like, when it came out, I watched the first two episodes, and I was like, ugh, <laughs> uh, this is not what I expected, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit, and then I watched three and four, and I was still kind of like, ooh, <laughs> honestly, I really was. Um, but yeah, there were moments where I, I laughed a little bit, um, but nothing that would get me to binge watch it, alright? It was nothing like that. Like, best way to say it is when I watched the first episode of Breaking Bad, I binge watched the hell out of that show and I caught up, like, three seasons, I caught up pretty much. I forgot how many seasons it was going for at that point, but I caught up to that show to the finale and everything. Um, I think I caught up to, like, up to almost, like, the last season and then I watched the last season on TV. But whatever. Um, like Daredevil, I binge watched that show. I binge watched Wilfred. I binge watched a few shows um, in my time watching Netflix. Um, in my time, uh, but um, not a show I would binge watch. I'm probably not gonna watch the rest of it. Maybe here and there. Maybe background show. It's always good to have a, bra a background show in your library, honestly. So yeah, that is my review on Fuller House. Um, in summary, if you enjoyed Fuller House, you might like this. Um, but give it a chance, watch the first three, four episodes if you're on the fence. Um, yeah, just give it a chance. Uh, if you never like that kind of humor, you don't like sitcom humor, you don't like family kind of sitcom and shows, then you're probably not going to like it. So that is my review on Fuller House. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more reviews and other random videos that I have going on in my channel, Hit the subscribe button. I almost forgot how to say subscribe. That's why I paused for a second. What the hell was that? I also have a vlogging channel, which I vlog on regularly. Um, not so much more now, because I got sick for like a week and a half and so. Whatever. But I am vlogging on that channel, so I'll put a link in the description for that. And I'll put my links to my social media and stuff if you want to. Whatever. I don't know what's the point of all that, but whatever. So, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you, or more like you will see me, in the next or another video. I keep forgetting my words.